Hey all, Josh here today, aka the world's greatest dad. And what you're looking at here is the Soul Perk Solar Charger. And today we're gonna unbox this bad boy, take a detailed close look at it, fully test it out, see if it might be something you need to pick up as well. So with that being said, let's get it. So let's go ahead and start from the beginning. When you pick this up, it's gonna show up in a box just like this. Let's get her opened up, see what's inside. And here's everything inside the package, including our solar panel, charger controller, mounting bracket, alligator clips, O-ring cables, instruction book, and mounting hardware. Now, as we take a little closer look at the panel itself, you'll see right here on the back, you've got the model number as well as some specs concerning the solar panel. It's also hardwired in, and this cord here is going to be about eight feet long. Now, as we turn this thing over, you're going to notice a couple things. Number one, you've got this nice aluminum frame as well as a tempered glass panel. And when we measure this out, it's about 12 and a quarter inches wide by 14 and a half inches tall. Now, before we dive into this thing, let's go ahead and check our instruction manual, see how detailed it is. On the first page, we're gonna have some product information, some specs, as well as our parts list. I do like the detailed installation instructions, giving you both pictures and writing. We've got some maintenance information, operation, as well as a little guide to show you how to position your solar panel, some troubleshooting, some after sales help in case you have any issues. I do want to point out they do offer a 12 month warranty and lifetime technical support. And on the back, you've just got a listing of the different wattages and products Solperk offers. Now to put our mounting bracket onto our solar panel, we're going to use these bolts here, these wing nuts, and we have a little locking washer and a regular washer. So we'll go ahead and line up our bracket hole with our hole in the middle of the solar panel. We're gonna to wanna to take our nut and go from the inside and push it through. Now we'll take our large washer, then our locking washer and our wig nut, and we'll tighten this down. And we'll flip it over and do the other side. Now the bracket itself can be easily adjusted and tightened or loosened here so you can really get it at any angle to meet the sun now the back of the bracket also has several holes so if you wanted to mount this to a pole or a wall or something they provide you with some hardware for that as well so now that we got our solar panel set up on our mounting bracket let's go ahead and show you how this thing works so to get our control panel connected to our solar panel you're going to see we have two outgoing lines right here both clearly labeled one says solar the other one says battery so we'll go ahead and take our solar cable and get that connected here. Now once that's connected, you will see our panel is in the sun and our top indicator light is going to show us that. Uh, that's a blue light and as long as the panel's in the sun, that will light up. If we go ahead and move our panel back into the shade, you'll see the in the sun indicator goes off. Move it back out. And the in the sun indicator comes back on. Now, before we go ahead and connect this, I do want to show you that this is putting off some power here. I'm going to do a little voltage test. And you'll see right now we're getting about 18.9 volts. Now, at this point, we have two different options to connect to our battery. We've got our alligator clamps right here, or we've got these nice little O ring clamps for smaller batteries as well. Now, each of these is going to measure out about an additional 20 inches. So that's going to give you a little bit more distance connected to your solar panel as well. Now these O-rings will be great for smaller batteries, but 90% of the time I'm just going to be using these alligator clips. So let's go ahead and get this connected. Now another thing you will notice is each of these have these little caps that you can go ahead and throw on when they're not in use. And that's going to help keep those uh, little connections protected. And we're going to be testing this thing out today on my 72 Ford Maverick Grabber. Now this thing sits for long periods of time and the battery can go dead. So having a solar panel on here to kind of keep this thing all charged up means every time I show up here, I'll be able to start it up and drive it away. We'll go ahead and do a little voltage test on the battery, see if it starts right now, and we'll get this thing plugged in. And we run our voltage test on our battery here. We're getting right about 11.99 volts. Go ahead and try to start this up. As you can see, we got a little bit of juice, but not enough to turn it over. 
go ahead and get our alligator clamps connected. Of course, black to negative, red to positive. And when all the cables are connected, you're gonna have yourself a little over 10 feet of distance between the solar panel and your battery. And when we take a little closer look at our control box now, you'll see another light has came on, this red light, which indicates that this thing is charging. Now there's one other light on here and that's going to be a green light that is charged. So if this battery is fully charged, this thing will turn green right here. Now one of the things I researched before picking this up was the fact that it's got this intelligent three-stage charging system from indicating when it's in the sun, indicating when it's charging, and indicating when it's charged. So that means that it will not overcharge your battery either. If the green light is on, it's no longer charging nor sucking any power from the battery. Now once the battery runs down a little bit, it will go ahead and go back into charging mode and power it back up to max capacity. So now all that's left to do is let this thing go to work. I'm gonna go ahead and shut my hood while it sits here charging. We'll check in on this thing in a day or two. And just for reference, today is September 19th, which is a Friday, and it's about 11.37 a.m. All right, y'all, it's been a little over 48 hours. As you see, we are at Sunday, September 21st, about 3.42 in the afternoon. Was busy all day Saturday, so didn't get a chance to get up here, but uh, we'll see if this thing will start up. So over the past 48 hours, we had some nice sunshine the first day, and we had actually a little bit of rain and overcast, including today. We even had some rain showers this morning, which uh, is a good time to bring up the fact that that thing is also waterproof, so you don't have to worry about using it out in the snow or the rain. Let's go ahead and get a little voltage test here now that we've had this on for 48 hours. If you do remember the first time we put this on, the battery was at 11.99. And now when we put it on, we are up to 12.36. And as we take a closer look at our control panel, you will see the unit is still in the sun. It is still charging. Obviously there's some more room to go on that battery. Let's see if it starts up. Yeah, baby. Now, while our Soul Perk solar charger didn't charge our battery to full capacity in 48 hours, it did give us enough juice to get it fired up. Obviously, if I left this thing on long enough, it should be able to fully charge the battery and then keep it maintained so it's ready to go every time I want to use it. Now, besides the 20 watt system we tested out today, Soul Perk does offer several different systems ranging from 10 watts all the way up to the big boys at 200 watts. Now, another thing I really like about this is just the fact they make it pretty much dummy proof. You really can't screw this up. I have a bunch of different protections built in, including a temperature protection, reverse current, short circuit, reverse polarity, overload, and overcharge protection. So pretty much you can get this thing hooked up, leave it for months at a time, and you don't have to worry about it ruining your battery. So there you go. That's pretty much everything you need to know about the Soul Perk solar charging system. So to close this video out, here's my three takeaways. Number one has to be the fact that this thing simply works. We were able to take a dead car battery that wouldn't crank this engine, put this solar panel on there for a little over 48 hours, come up and have enough juice to get this thing started. And number two has to be the set it and forget it capabilities. I love the fact that you can attach this thing to pretty much any 12 volt battery out there, get a full charge, but even better, you can leave this thing on for days, weeks, even months, and you know when you come back, your battery isn't gonna be ruined. And number three is the fact that they do provide a 12-month warranty plus customer service support. So if you have any issues within the first 12 months, they should take care of you. And it's for those reasons and more, I'm going to go ahead and give this bad boy a world's greatest dad thumbs up. And I say, go out and get you one.